Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a brand new episode of Takeover Tuesday. I am so excited that you guys are all here today. And if you're new, welcome. If you're, this is your first time watching, hello, my name is Kennedy. I'm the social media specialist here at SMP, and I'm so excited to have all of you here to talk about this amazing project because I think everyone is going to benefit from this project today. And just by the comments, I'm seeing that you all might need it. So, and might find a lot of use out of it. And I'm going to tell you all the different ways that you can use it. But first off, let me just say welcome again, if you're watching. And if you didn't know, we actually do shows twice a week. So if you are watching today, this is Takeover Tuesday. And then on Thursday, we have SMP Live with Blaine, who you will see soon. And we always are doing fun stuff on there. So it's a good time. Always fun getting being able to talk to you guys as well. I feel like it always is so long in between shows. I'm like, I need to catch up with you guys and see what's going on. Um, but so exciting. And also the show for today was completely inspired by last week's show when we did that keychain. Um, you guys ended up doing so many keychains and I saw all the pictures of all the ones you guys made and it made me so happy. I'm like, oh my gosh, everybody has their own little keychain now. And it was so much fun. Let me tell you, over here, we all have keychains. Everybody, our crew, they've all got keychains. I made their own little custom ones. Kyle's got his fish one because they're into fishing right now. And then Andrea had one based off of one of her favorite characters. So we have we have a lot of keychains floating around here. Oh, yes. <laughs> but they're super fun to make, and I'm so glad that you guys all enjoyed it. And I love when projects are simple to where you guys can all customize them to your own liking or anything like that. Like, um, I think it was Kim posted in her Facebook group and she used this really pretty, like almost metallic fabric. And then she used a different type of, um, metal, you know, the little locking system and all that type of stuff. So it was really cool to see all the different variations that you guys did, guys did with it. But after that show, I was like, you know what? I really need something for my car. Like, what's a really good car accessory that we can make and that's, you know, convenient and easy for everyone? And I was looking on Pinterest because if you guys don't look on Pinterest for sewing inspiration, that's my favorite place to look, I'm telling you. But if you go look on there, you will see, well, I saw, I found on there a pattern for a car trash can. And let me show you what they look like. Oh my goodness, they are so stinking cute. And this, the purpose, how they said to hang it is over your little gear shift. So put that on top and have it hang over and you have it on the side. You can just throw things in there and do whatever you want because I know from personal experience, straw wrappers, I mean, just the little tiniest little pieces of plastic, I always find them all over my truck and I am so paranoid about making sure my truck is clean all the time. So this is perfect. This is my favorite thing. And then before I went live, I was looking at your guys' comments and some of you were talking about how you have kids and this is a perfect little project to make for the kids in the car, keep it in the back of the car. Um, you can also put this next to your sewing machine, <laughs> hang it right over and you've got a scrap bin that you can put all of your scraps in. So how cool is that? And look at this fabric, you guys. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? We love it. It's great. Um, but super exciting stuff. And I hope you guys make this one as well, because this one, this pattern and this project is so easy. I'm telling you, it is. Anyone can do it. I'm sure if I showed Kyle and Roger how to do it, they could probably do it in maybe 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, you guys can. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um, but before we get into this project, I just want to let you know of a few things happening around SMP. We've got a lot of good stuff coming um, this week's show. Of course, we've got SMP Live with Blaine on Thursday at 10 a.m. So tune in for that. I'll be there behind the scenes, making sure to say hi to all you guys. And then we also have what else is going on? Oh, my goodness. Now I'm blanking. Oh, my gosh. So fest. So we obviously just had Hoop Fest and that was great. And we're taking a little break. But trust me, we're getting ready for SoFest. And if you don't know what SoFest is, it is a five day virtual festival that we stream right here on YouTube and on Facebook. Five days, eight hours a day, 
all things sewing, quilting, embroidery. It's going to be so much fun. And we have lots of giveaways. We have lots of fun stuff to get involved in. And who knows, maybe we'll do some like free designs or something. I don't know. I don't know. You'll just have to tune in to find out. But I'm just letting you know, this is your, this is your warning to take your time off work, take the week off, um, get your PTO in there. Um, get some fun projects going for the week of. Um, it is going to be September 11th through the 17th, I believe. I'm almost 99% sure. 11th through the 17th. So mark those dates down on your calendar and get excited because we've got some fun stuff coming to you with SoFest. And that's everything. So we're talking embroidery. Embroidery. We're talking quilting. We're talking sewing. Everything. Coffee Powered Home said she immediately submitted her PTO. Thank you. It's all we needed. <laughs> I'm so glad. Um, but yeah, it'll be a fun time and we can't wait to see you there. And super exciting stuff. Super exciting. Well, first thing that I want to ask you guys is what more stuff do you guys want to see from us? Obviously, the keychain last week on Takeover Tuesday was a huge hit. So that was awesome. And then this week, I hope you all enjoy this one. I feel like you will. I feel like I've got a good instinct with SMP Nation. And I feel like you guys are going to like this one. But what other projects do you want to see? Do you like, you know, more accessories? Do you want more quilting? Do you want more? I don't know. Whatever. You guys let me know. I'll listen to you guys. Sewing machine cover. See, that's a good idea. I kind of need one of those too. Hmm. You guys are giving me good ideas. Somebody asked what my shirt says. I'm, I think it's the William and Mary College. I think so. It's my grandpa's. He gave it to me and I wear it all the time. So <laughs> this is a hand me down, but yeah. So fun stuff going on over here and yeah. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to tell you more, but yes, there is going to be a contest. I'm sure with SoFest. So just keep your eyes peeled for that. We'll have more information to come. Um, but a good way to stay in touch with all of that is with our social media. So follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We always have things going out and information and our private Facebook group, which now has over... I think we're at over 1,200 people, which is absolutely wild. I never thought when we first hit 100 people in our Facebook group, I was so excited. And now that we're hitting 1,000, I'm like, it's just, it's crazy to me. So many of you are on there sharing your projects and it's just so much fun um, to see what you guys are all working on. It's great. So if you want to get involved in that as well, join the Facebook group. So fun. And I just see Cindy King on there. Hi, Cindy. She actually just got all of her prizes from... Hoop Fest, and she was showing some videos of her testing out the PRS 100, and she showed off her Great Wall of Thread by Floriani, and it was beautiful to look at. Um, Cindy, I'm so jealous of your sewing space, and a lot of you guys who have posted pictures of your sewing room, I'm so jealous, so jealous. Um, maybe one day, one day, crossing my fingers. <laughs> learning more about the Scanica. Okay. That's another good suggestion. Thank you for that. I'm seeing a lot of sewing machine covers. Okay. Celeste said she remembers when she hit it, when we hit a hundred members too. I know it's crazy. I was so excited when we hit a hundred and then it just grew so fast and we hit 500 and then a thousand. I'm like, Oh my gosh, but it's so much fun. Um, and I love looking on there. I could be on that Facebook group and talk to you guys all day, but it's awesome. So what else do I have to tell you? What else? What else? What else? I think that's it for my little spiel and introduction. Oh, of course, we got to give Roger a shout out. Roger, what do they need to do to stay connected and get more sales and coupons? Sign up for emails. Yeah, mm -hmm. sign up for emails. Roger is the king of the emails, and he is always getting all those coupons and all of those fun deals and savings out to you. So definitely sign up for emails. And we also have texts, and those texts let you know every time we go live. So good way to stay in touch with that. That just sends you a text right to your phone, gives you the link and you're right onto the show watching. So you're wasting no time. <laughs> all right. Well, I think that's all I have for today, but we're going to go ahead and show you how to make this car trash can. And I want to show you really quick the supplies before I get started with the video. Um, these, okay. So we're getting started now. Pretend this is like kind of part of the video. So here are your supplies. These are all the things you need. So you just need the two 10 by 10 pieces for your outer fabric, which let me put me on the screen. 
so you can see. Oh, nope, just kidding. All right. So you need the two pieces and that is going to be your outer fabric here. So that's going to be this fabric. And then you just need your liner fabric, which same size, same thing, just for your inside here. And then you just need, here's where I went a little bit differently. It says you for the pattern from the blog from Happiest Camper, um, they use fusible fleece, but I wanted something a little bit thinner. Um, I don't, I also didn't have fusible fleece. So I was like, okay, what's something that I can do um, just instead? So I was like, okay, I'm going to go for just a normal fusible, um, like an SF 101 type situation, um, just to kind of keep the fabric stiff and in place. And I was just working with what I had. Well, I didn't know <laughs> I had all my stabilizers in a little in like a file cabinet type situation and they're all just stacked on top of each other and I thought I grabbed a fusible like an SF 101 I actually grabbed Floriani Dreamweave which is an embroidery um fusible that you step go onto the back of fabrics and I didn't know until I was like almost done with the project I'm like this this isn't right. <laughs> but I will say though, it kind of was a blessing in disguise because once I finished, it really helped keep everything together. And it, you can't really see in person, but it made the fabric so much more vibrant once I finished. So highly recommend using some dream weave if you're making projects like this, because it really helped just keep my fabric stiff and in place and also just brightened up the fabric so much. So I was like, oh, it kind of worked out. But normally Dream Dreamweave is a great um feasible little not stabilizer, but um kind of like your first stabilizer before you go on. Um you iron it onto your fabric and it helps with really, really dense embroidery designs and also helps with um embroidering on really thin fabric. So like silk or satin or anything like that. It really helps to keep everything together. So I mean it worked for both ways and it worked for both projects. So I'm happy with it, but you can use fusible fleece. You can use SF 101. You could even use batting. Any, anything in between those two layers honestly works. You don't even, I mean, you could go without it if you really wanted to. Um, but that's just the situation that I was in <laughs> when I was making this. And then you just need that three inch by 15 piece for the outer fabric, which of the outer fabric, which makes your strap. So, and of course you just need all your usual. So screenshot this or take a picture of this if you're planning on making this. Um, this is just your little guidelines for what you need. So, all right. Well, now that I got that out of the way, um, let's go ahead and get into the <laughs> video of how to make these car trash cans and we'll see how it goes. And then after, I know you'll probably want to make one. So just send all your pictures over to us and we will highlight them, but let's get started, shall we? Okay. I'll be back. All the products are linked down in the description box. And if you have any questions, I'll be back behind the scenes to answer any of your questions. All right, let's do it.
guys what did you think i am loving all of the comments that i've been seeing as the video was going on first off the best idea, I'm going to have to scroll and see who said it originally, but all of you guys were talking about it, making these for teachers, for students, that is awesome. Like, I think that is the best idea ever, and if there's any teachers out there, I'd love to make you one. So, let me know. Um, but that is such a good idea for keeping it by their desks or next to their desks. I love that. I love, love, love that. Um, and yes, this is such a good thing to donate to. Like if you know of any organizations or anything like that, it's a great little project and it takes you not that long. So you can make more than one if you wanted to, and you're able to donate it and, you know, or give it to someone who needs it. But overall, just such a little convenient project, I think, whether it's a scrap bin, a car trash can, you know, a scrap bin for the side of your sewing machine, or what else can I think of? Um, maybe like holding all of your little supplies when you go traveling or retreats or anything like that. So many uses for it. Um, one person did mention how long this drop was. And the reason why I made it so long is because the gear shift on my truck, like it would, this would be kind of like this if I didn't make it long enough to hang over the side. So that's why I had to make mine a little longer. But the good thing with this pattern is you can easily adjust it. Um, I mean, the one important thing with a strap is keep it three inches wide, just so that way you can fold it, but you can make it as long or as short as you want. That doesn't necessarily matter. Um, so if you need something like super small that you want to, you know, maybe hang on the back of a door or something, um, you can make it shorter. You can literally adjust it to make it as shorter as long as you want. Um, but that was awesome. Thank you guys for all the kind comments. Cause you guys, I'm telling you, once you make one of these and stick it in your car or stick it wherever, you'll notice that it's so convenient to have just on the side or anything like that. Kyle, I finished mine and I brought it over. I said, guys, look what I'm doing for takeover tomorrow. And Kyle took it and put it on his chair arm. So he has his own little right there, a little trash can right at his desk, right at his chair. So that is awesome. Maybe I'll make him a fishing one. So it's a little bit more, a little bit more Kyle, you know, <laughs> But that is awesome, and I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it. And I'm going to go ahead and put – give me one second. I'm going to put the pattern one more time in the comments so you guys can go get it. But if there was anything that you guys saw from today's show, it is all down linked below so you guys can go shop, um, anything like that. But I hope you guys make it and send me all the pictures once you get done. And, oh, Linda Brooks said on the chair armor is great. They're all, they're all liking your idea, Kyle. <laughs> But I hope you guys all enjoyed it and let me know if you make it, show me pictures, everything. I want to see it all. Um, but it's fun. I love finding easy projects that have more than one use to them, especially in my shoes of me, you know, making this pattern and showing it to all of you guys. I want you to be able to make it your own and use it in your own way. So, yes. Somebody asked what size is the sewing mat? The one that I used in the video, I think that one's an extra large. I think that one's an extra large. But I was using the Presto 2 and you can easily you put the Presto 2 on top of a medium, if that makes sense. So either one works. I just like having the extra space of the extra large because I can put my pins in there. I can use it as a needle, like a little pin cushion. Um, I also just like keeping, it just makes me feel like I'm like organized. And if I keep all of my mess on the sew mat, does it really count? Right? Maybe, maybe not. Or maybe that's just me being crazy. <laughs> But highly recommend a sew mat too. Oh my goodness. They make a world of a difference, especially on your sewing machine with the noise and the vibration. If you're really trying to get really little close, precise stitches and your machine is moving everywhere, highly recommend getting a little sew mat for you to make life a little bit easier. But dun, 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 can you cut fabric on the sew mats? No, no, you cannot. So what I would do instead you could always throw a cutting mat on top and that way you just have like a little stability, but I would not cut on the sew mat. I don't, I think it will get chopped up. <laughs> so I would not do that, but we have tons of cutting mats and mats you guys can look at on our website that you can cut on. I actually made the mistake one time I got the OESD grippy grid and I love it. I love that, that mat so much. It's really good for hooping because it's has a little bit of like a stick to it. So when you're putting your hoop down in your fabrics, it all sticks together and you're able to 
you know, move things around without it flying everywhere or anything like that. One day, one day I just was not thinking and I thought it was a cutting mat because it looked a lot like a cutting mat. I need to get a grip grip. I need to get a new one, but mistakes happen. Like what does Bob Ross say? They're happy accidents. So it's okay. Life goes on. But I've made that mistake and I feel like there's a lot of people out there who have too, but it's okay because it just happens. It's all good. So yes, it was, I definitely laughed at myself. I said, what are you doing? Because you look at the grippy grid. If you saw it in person, you would see there's a giant like circle with a slash in it that says no cutting on it. And what do I do? That was a very me thing to do. So it's good. We had a laugh and we move on, but it's all good. So if you're looking at a grippy grid though, they're from OESD and they're on our website. So go check those out too, because they are awesome. But I think it's time that we get into some giveaways. What do you guys think? Because I got some stuff I want to give away. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So let's get into what we're giving away first. Okay. So first up, we're going to do, we were just talking about these, some so mats. We love the so mats. They are the best. Um, I will never sew without one, I don't think, because they're so convenient and having just it under your machine, knowing that your table is being protected. I, Cause I know a lot of people might have really nice aero cabinets, koala cabinets, you know, all the different nice furniture for your sewing and you want to protect it forever. You want to have it forever. So let's see who is going to win one of these amazing sew mats today. And if you do win, you can pick out the size and the color. So that way, say you have a ginormous sewing machine, you've got one that matches your sewing room, maybe your little aesthetic, your colors, and also the size. So let's go ahead and see who is going to win. Let's do it. Boom, boom, boom. And if you win today, let me know what you're going to get. Let me know. Lori Scott, congratulations. You have just won a brand new SMP sew mat. Go ahead and head to smplive.tv to claim your prize, fill out all the information, hit submit. We'll take care of the rest and get you that sew mat of your size and color choice. And you can step up your little sewing room, add a little pop of color. All right, let's give away one more because I'm seeing a lot of people who don't have sew mats. So let's see we can get somebody who hasn't gotten a sew mat yet. Let's see, let's see. Clara Murphy, congratulations. You have just won a sew mat. So go ahead and head to smplive.tv, fill out the information down at the bottom of the page. Let us know what size and what color you want. And you can also go look at the product page itself of the Somats and see all the different ones that we offer. Um, we've got a lot of cute ones and who knows, maybe we'll make some new ones in the future. You never know, you never know. So Clara, congratulations again. Go get that Somat and add a little pop of color to your sewing room, guys. Okay, what next? I think, I think I'm gonna do a $100 gift card today because we talked about a lot of fun stuff today and I want somebody to be able to have the chance to either get some new stuff or stock up. Maybe you need some thread or some needles. Those are always essential. So let's go see. Ooh, coffee powered home said a 90s theme so Matt. Ooh, like, are you thinking like, what's it called? Saved by the bell, like that type of 90s? Let me know, let me know. Okay, let's see who is gonna win this $100 gift card. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Wolf guy says she has a shopping list. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bonnie Hardman. Congratulations. You have just won a $100 gift card for SMP to go redeem and get a hundred dollars off your order. How awesome is that? Congratulations. Go ahead and head to smplive.tv to claim your prize and fill out all that information. And we will email you a gift card code that you can go ahead and use on our website. Or if you want to call in and chat with someone and talk about some things that you wanted, they can help you with that code as well. So awesome. And I don't think I'm done yet. I don't think I'm done guys. I think I'm going to do one more $50 gift card for all of everyone else, just another chance for you to win and get $50 off your order because that's the highlight of the week for sure. Getting an SMP gift card, 
you guys already know. So let's spin again, bum, 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 and see who's gonna win this $50 gift card. <laughs> Steven Norma Kaufman, congratulations. You have just won a $50 gift card to Sewing Machines Plus. Congratulations, go ahead and head to smplive.tv, fill out all the information. And again, we will email you a gift card code that you can use on the website. You can go into our retail stores, do whatever. You, Your choice, it's up to you. But congrats, I can't wait to see what you guys get. How awesome. Well, and that leads me into another thing that I wanted to say. All of my local friends, if you are in the San Diego area or if you're in California or maybe Arizona, I don't know, somewhere around San Diego in the vicinity, please head on down to our Mission Bay store. We are actually moving our locations and we are trying to get rid of inventory. So if you head down to Mission Bay today through this week, we will make you a deal and we've got lots and I mean lots of notions, threads, fabrics, all of that stuff. I'm seeing so many comments of everybody being like, I wish, I'm sorry, you guys, I wish we could have stores everywhere so we could, we could be with you all and you guys can all come and shop with us. But San Diego people come in and stop by because we still have some floor model machines that we can make some de good deals on, just saying. And we also have, what else? We've got lots of fabric. We always have fabric, um, thread needles anything basically the more that you guys come in and look for and shop for the less that we have to move <laughs> that's what they were saying last week so if you are in need of anything if um i don't know anything need to stock up on stabilizer too just come in and stop by come in come in don't be shy come on <laughs> all right you guys well i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here we've got a full day of planning for thursday's show up ahead but i hope you all have an oh my goodness an amazing i cannot talk today have an amazing rest of your week and day and i really hope you guys all try out this project i had so much fun making it and showing you guys so i hope to see all of your amazing little projects and all of your different variations and I will see you guys very, very soon. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so that way you get notified every time we upload or go live. And I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys. Bye. I'll miss you so much. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>